Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Anthony James, and um, and I'm probably not breaking any news to you, but uh, Spider-Man 4 it's going to be uh, a reboot. It's not going to uh, continue in continuity with the old movies. It, they're rebooting it. Tobey Maguire's out. The entire cast is out, as well as Sam Raimi. Um, now I've watched a lot of videos. Um, Super Doggy Dog, uh, Geek Geek Evolution. Uh, Let's see, I've, I've probably watched uh, quite a few. Um, those are the two that really stand out in my mind. Um, I'll post uh, their links on the side or under me, whatever, wherever it is. I'll post the links to their videos, maybe throw an annotation. But uh, you should definitely check them out after this video. Anyway, what do I think? Okay. Um, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy about it. You know, I'm, the, the reboot, um, I'd, I'd heard a lot of rumors. Um, uh, probably I think Saturday and I think this broke on Monday I believe so I heard it like a few days before you know it was kind of going around not really being paid attention to then it was announced officially and, um, and I'm happy about it you know what high five bam there you go um, good job uh, uh, Spider -Man, after Spider-Man 3 Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire had to go uh, after, after Spider-Man 1 Kristen Dunst had to go but, uh, but yes um, but I mean, you know what? It sucks. You know what? The, re the biggest reason I'm happy about this is because of Spider-Man 3. I know a lot of people are going to say that. And you know, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I mean, if you disagree with me, uh, try to change my mind. Convince me down below. You know, but uh, really, I'm just, I'm just happy about this. Because Spider-Man 3 was awful. You know what? Sam Raimi don't, didn't like Venom. And then he screwed, screwed up Venom. What? What kind of director is that? Seriously, Sam Raimi, I lost a lot of respect for you there. You know what? Evil Dead and, I mean, Army of Darkness are great um, uh, films to me, you know, that I, I really enjoyed. And, um, and Spider-Man 1 and 2 also really enjoyed, especially Part 2. Part 2 was very, very, very good. Um, probably probably um, my second favorite um, superhero film of all time, I'd have to say. Uh, it, was, it was a very good film. Um, but... You know what? Uh, for you to to not like a character and just completely screw him over, have freaking Eric Foreman, what's his name, Topher Grace playing him? Come on, man! Seriously, it sucks. You know when it sucks, it does suck for the Spider-Man franchise. It's happening. I mean, I will admit that. You know, um, but I mean, if it were me, and it were my decision, I would have uh, after Spider-Man three. I would have said, okay, listen, Sam Raimi, uh, we're gonna find another director. Tom McGuire, we're gonna find our Spider-Man. You just, you just, you're just not really cutting it, you know. And Kristen Dunst, well, you're not very attractive for Mary Jane, so you need to go too. But everybody else can stay. You know what? The guy who plays Doc Connors, J. Joan Jameson. I mean, uh, Betty. All of them. Uh, they, they can all stay. I mean, seriously. All, the rest of the cast is fine. Um, Aunt May is good. They have a, they have a a good cast. The guy who was Uncle Ben um, did a good job. Was Uncle Ben? I mean, everybody else did very good. Um, other than really Sam Raimi because of Spider-Man Three, Tobey Maguire because of Spider-Man Three, and Kristen Dunst because she's Kristen Dunst. Um, but yeah, um, I don't necessarily agree with making him a teenager. Now, that I'm, I don't know. I know he's a teenager originally in the comic books, but I'm more of a fan of you know like. A little bit older of a Spider-Man, I guess, because by the time I started reading, he was a little bit older. Um, but yeah, uh, but this is a good opportunity to fix things, like when Stacy can be fixed. I mean, it was kind of weird having her in Part Three. It was kind of a bit of a. Um, it was kind of cool, I guess, to even had Gwen Stacy, but no. Nah. And um, and yeah, Venom. They have another opportunity on Venom here, you know. And the Doc Connors thing. Um, uh, I think it was. Um, uh, Captain Logan that said, you know, the, uh, the, um, the whole thing with, uh, with the lizard does need to pay off. I mean, that's been built up for three movies, you know, and I mean, maybe the Carnage thing, maybe not necessarily pay off. I don't know. But, um, anyway, another thing nobody's mentioned, the Venom movie that was supposed to happen, um, I read, um, what was it, I think two weeks ago, that Topher Grace, nobody's mentioned anything to him about the Venom movie. 
So I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. I really was kind of wondering if it was going to happen anyway, but now I really don't think it's going to happen. And let's see reboot Venom as well. That'd be kind of cool. Have a have a re, have a Spider-Man and a Venom, two separate movies, and maybe buy a part. Um, you know, maybe two or three or whatever. Like have them combine. You know, that'd be cool. Kind of like what they're going to do for Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk. Have them be, have Iron Man two be kind of Hulk, the Incredible Hulk two. That'd have been kind of cool. But you know, whatever. And um. But, and, and oh yeah, and Sam Raimi is going to have the Vulture in there, uh, John Malkovich there. I mean, you know what? John Malkovich as the Vulture would be fine, but I'm not a huge Vulture fan. I'm sorry, but Vulture, Vulture, Rhino, Shocker, I mean, there, there's just some characters that I don't really think could carry a film. Um, I think it was um, uh, Geek, Geek Volution that, uh, that also uh, mentioned that it'd be kind of cool to have a... Um, having maybe other characters in there in continuity. I think it was Geek, which I may be wrong though, but you know, check their video out. I'm probably, I think I'm wrong. I'm, I've watched a lot of Spider-Man 4, what people think about it so far. But, um, but it'd be cool just, like I've always said this too. I've always, always said this. Maybe it'd be cool like for an opening scene, have, have him stopping Rhino from robbing a bank and having him wave him up at the end. Just have some big, uh, big Rhino CGI and guy with the face, you know? Whatever, you know, that, that'd be cool. Just kind of letting people know that, you know, he does um, fight other super villains other than, you know, the big ones, but, you know. And and I don't, I don't know. If you do bring back Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus or Venom or Sandman, you know, I mean, do it right. I mean, really, Venom was the only one that was really screwed up. The other three I was okay with, but, I mean, if you're going to do a Green Goblin again, change the costume, definitely. Um, the others, the costumes, you know, are pretty good other than Venom being really small. But, but yeah, just, um, just if, if it were me, I would really, really um, reconsider the high school thing. I'd, I'd make him older and and stuff. I, I just, I'm just not feeling the young, young uh, Tom McGuire. I don't know who should really play him. I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head. A lot of people say Jake Gyllenhaal was originally going to replace him, but I don't know. You know what? Actually, um, I, don't, I don't really think the reboot thing is really that smart. Um, if it were me, I probably would instead of reboot and I'll just replace, uh, like I said, Chris Dunn's uh, Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire, and uh, just bring in the, a director and a new Mary Jane and new Spider Man and continue with it and try to fix uh, Spider Man 3 because you had Spider Man 1 and 2, which are pretty good. I don't know. Just, um, just definitely, if you disagree, try to change my mind. I think I rambled a lot. Sorry. But yeah, try to change my mind, if you can. Thanks a lot, guys.